Okay, it's the last day in Morocco and I'm sadly getting ready to pack up to head off home. And I wanted to show you some of the items that I brought with me that I've used to film with. Now, at the moment, I'm filming on my iPad and that is on a, a very sturdy tripod because obviously my iPad is quite heavy. I will film a little bit of that with my iPhone at the end to show you what it looks like. Um, and I have got... A cable mic I think I've shown that a few times it's a really good one it's about two and a half meters long which means I can have the the tripod and the the iPad far enough away from me without a cable falling over but something you need to know about using the microphone and you'll see that in the sound module is um, you need an adapter because normal microphones come with three prongs and this has got like four so you know when you plug your headphones in it needs to do the headphones and the little white microphone thing you know this here you go um, it has four connectors on it most microphones professional microphones clip on mic radio mic lavia mics that kind of stuff and you have three so you have to convert um, it to be able to plug into the phone so I have a spare one fortunate so I could have shown you that right what else this is my cheap and cheerful tripod look it's falling to pieces but do you know what? I use this one for um, attaching a little stand and a face on it so I could then focus with. It's always good to, to have a spare one. This is very light. Um, it helps sometimes if you want to light, but you don't want to light directly above the camera, um, then I, I use this tripod so I can maybe shine the light 45 degrees. So at the moment, I don't need it. I've got a window just over there which is shining right through onto me. The light is really great. But I could put maybe this with the light over there, shining on me, and then balance this side of my face. Right, in we go. Talking of lights, here's my light. This is a little LED light. Quick flash. Um, about $40, 30 quid. And it, at the moment, it's it, I'm, I've got these kind of Lithium crystal, uh, I don't know what these are. Lithium crystal, isn't that off Star Trek? I've got these kind of batteries that I brought a really old camera and it's like really old, but the only reason I bought it is so that I could charge the batteries. I'm using this, which is a DV cam, a mini DV cam camera, which takes tapes, old technology, um, just to charge the batteries for my LED light. But you do not have to have these batteries, uh, AA batteries work perfectly. You just kind of put six of them in there and it works perfectly. So in you go. Um, what's the rules about batteries in luggage? I'll have to look that one up, but you know, put that in there. Now, I've been filming a lot on my iPhone and I mentioned the tripod. iPhones don't have tripod screws to screw them on. So what you need is one of these. This is a springy thingy, ow, just bang my thumb, a springy thingy, which you open up, you put your tripod, your tripod, you put your phone in it, and then it's got the universal screw at the bottom that you stick on top of your tripod, okay? But then, how do I attach the light to it? Well, actually, what I then need is one of these. This is a little L-shaped thing. That screws on there. I actually should go and get my iPhone, but the problem is my iPhone is connected to my laptop at the moment, char recharging, because I've been doing lots of filming. Um, let me show you. That's for the phone, and look, then that clips on there, and then I can use light, and I've got my phone there, and that then sits on top of the tripod. Perfect. So um, that is it. There's, there's a few extra things that I bought that I never used. No, that's not true. I bought this and I did use that. I listened to your music on that. This is a little gorilla pod, very small. It also the iPhone slots into there, and you know that can just sit on a table and film. But I actually didn't use that at all because I um, I didn't need to. I used a tripod. And then this thing here, this is called an eye pole. I haven't used it yet, but I might go out exploring later. What you do. You stick your phone holder on it. There you go. And then you can film yourself as you're walking along. 
Now, when I was in Vegas, I used this, and I was walking down the street, and Americans kept stopping me and going, hey, are we on, Pally? It's very funny. So that is it. That is what I bought along with me to film with all the filming modules in pre-production, quite a few, all the video blogs that I've shot, everything, that's the kit. Nothing professional. You know, no professional HD cameras, no really heavy expensive tripods, no professional lights. And I kept it simple because that is what you can use. That's it. And you know, all this stuff that adds up, including my really nice tripod that I'll take a, a I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the camera and then I'm going to come back with my phone and I'm going to film back so you can see what I'm filming with. Yeah. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm coming back. Right. I'm back. I'm going to give it a go with the eye pole. Okay. I said I haven't used it yet. Now I'm using it. I've got on video. Okay, I'm not going to be able to focus and expose. Oh, the wind's blowing. Um, so here I am. That's my phone. I'm going to try and hold it. Can you see? Can you see? There's my iPad, and there's my tripod. I don't know if that worked. Maybe if I, you see, if I if I shift it a little bit closer. There you go. You can see that is the iPad filming me. Hopefully, and and then I'm just going to turn around so that you can actually see. That's the iPad, that's the mic, that's the tripod. That backpack actually is what I get all my filming kit, my laptop, all the bits and pieces. I carry that through um, customs um, because obviously I want to keep the kit with me. Um, and you know what, it only takes a fraction of the luggage space. So I'm going to film myself with two cameras at the same time saying, guys, it's been out of all the holidays I've had so far, this has certainly been the most recent and the most fun. And hopefully what I've shot is going to be valuable to you and going to turn you into an amazing video blogger. And I really wish I could keep this camera steady, but I can't.